Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hello and good evening. My name is Reshma Ghoshal. I'm co-founder of The Good Edge, and it's my privilege to be your host this evening for the Game Changers, the Fiki Flow Women Startup Awards 2021. Choose to challenge. That's the International Women's Day theme for the year, and all over the world, women and allies have stood up to be counted. Fiki Ladies Organization, Fiki Flow has been challenging the status quo since 1983. For nearly four decades and through its 17 chapters across India, Fiki Flow has served as an empowering platform for businesswomen, professionals and corporate executives. This year, Flow shines the spotlight on women entrepreneurship. Hosted by Flow Mumbai chapter, the Game Changers Women Startup Awards 2021 has been instituted to recognize and celebrate exceptional women-led startups. This evening, we will introduce you to new companies and brands whose innovative approach and disruptive ideas have created a significant positive impact, economically or socially or both. Their founders, incredible, smart, inspiring women, are truly game changers. Tonight's virtual awards event is also a game changer of sorts. Thanks to technology, we will hear from speakers from around the world and we can be connected with you, our audience, not only from all over India, but also from across continents and time zones. We will be taking your questions and reading all your comments in the Q&A section at the bottom of your screen. To keep things exciting and our tech team on their toes, we also have an interesting little quiz running through the show. At the end of the evening, we will announce two winners. So get comfortable, keep your refreshments handy, and get ready to enjoy the show. This inaugural edition of the Game Changers is a Flow national initiative hosted by the Flow Mumbai chapter. To tell you more about how these awards came to be instituted, please welcome the lady who's been instrumental in putting it all together. Chairperson Fiki Flow Mumbai, National Lead, The Game Changers, and my friend, Malu Natrajan. Good evening and welcome to The Game Changers, a Fiki Flow Women's Startup Awards 2021. Thank you so much for being here and a special welcome to our esteemed guest, Mr. Amitabh Khan, CEO Niti Ayog, Mr. Sukhnendu Mohanty, Chief Fintech Officer, Monetary Authority of Singapore, Mr. Dilip Chinoy, Secretary General Fiki, our own Ms. Janabi Pukan, the National President of Flow, past presidents, members of Flow Pan India, a warm welcome to all our winners and speakers, including Kiran Mazumdar Shah, Kirtika Reddy, Anu Acharya, to name a few, and all those who joined us today. It is a great honor for the Flow Mumbai chapter to host the annual award event, The Game Changers, this year. Thank you, Janabi Pukan, for giving us this opportunity. We've come a long way from wearing glass slippers and rushing home by midnight. We've come a long way from tumbling after Jack and Peter has stopped putting his wife in a pumpkin shell. We no longer have to let our tresses down to get help from a man a long way from trying to be a perfectionist and eating the porridge that is just right. CEOs, presidents, businesswomen, sports personalities, armed force warriors, you name it, and we've had exceptional women leading it all. We've pushed boundaries, broken the mythical glass ceiling and proved beyond a doubt about our ability to be the best in whatever we do. The women entrepreneurs of today are chartering unknown territories fearlessly. They are proceeding with great enthusiasm to change the world around them, make a difference with their ideas, seek solutions that have never been sought, generate employment for many, and also give rise to new ecosystems that are sustainable. Fiki Flow has been tirelessly working for financial independence of women for over three decades, and the bar is being raised year on year. 
This year, the 17 chapters focused on entrepreneurship through webinars, workshops, mentoring programs, collaboration with partners, including Niti Aayog and various academic institutions. Today is a day to celebrate the women who've taken on the challenge head on. The new generation of bold young achievers, each of them is scripting her own success story in today's digital world. We will be giving away 13 Game Changer Awards today. There will be three jury awards and one nominated winner in the space of education, food, fashion, fintech, healthcare, retail, social sector, tourism, and the startup of the decade and the young startup of the year. Each will receive a plaque, a cash prize, and also the shortlisted 20 candidates will have the privilege of attending the workshop, I Am Remarkable, a Google initiative empowering women to celebrate their achievements in the workplace and beyond. Thank you, Google, for your support. One of the main concerns for many startups is obtaining sufficient funds. So we had shortlisted 20 candidates to present to a group of reputed venture capitalists and investors to seek funds on 1st of March. It was a great session and some of the candidates are having a second round of discussion with the investors. Enjoy the evening, cherish the great work done, and it's certainly an evening to celebrate the achievements of all. I will leave you with a quote, follow your passion, stay true to yourself, always aim high, work hard, and care deeply about what you believe in. And when you stumble, keep faith. And when you're knocked down, get right back and never listen to anyone who says you can't or shouldn't go on. Thank you very much. Thank you, Malu. Next on your screens, please welcome Fiki Flood National President Janbi Pukan. Welcome to the first edition of Fiki Flo's Women Startup Awards, the Game Changer Awards. Our Prime Minister had said that we have a million problems, but at the same time, we do have a billion minds. Modi ji had said this at the inauguration of the Government of India's flagship program, Startup India. The Indian startup scenario today is a buzz with action, with ideas and innovation. Startups are beginning to contribute to the growth of our Indian economy and the role of the women is going to be quite noticeable in this field. This is the opportunity for women in startups across the country and we at Flow are happy to bring this first edition of the Women's Startup Awards. At present, only 13.75% of the total entrepreneurs of the country are women, as opposed to over 50 million male entrepreneurs. We look to be the game changers in the years to come, and we are convinced that women entrepreneurs can drive economic growth in the startup scenario, but that they need to be enabled to realize their rights. And if we work on this in partnership with business, government, and civil society, this can improve their opportunities and outcomes in the global value chain. Women entrepreneurs are a sign, a token, that women have equal opportunities and startups is the way forward for our women. So with role models like you, our awardees today, who can motivate more women to come to the fore, empowerment of women tends to be, have a strong multiplier effect on the wider community. Because women generally put 90% of what they earn back into their families, and back into their communities. And they equally provide equity for future generations. The, the more we encourage startups among women, the more uh, multiplier and positive effect is going to happen. And that can be demonstrated by the economic benefits and social significance, that it amplifies that these two definitely go side by side. Now we find that uh, over the past few years, startups have emerged as the key drivers and the catalyst for the radical innovation for which our country is looking forward to step into the $5 trillion economy that 
our uh, Prime Minister speaks about. So it is imperative that we need to invest in creating entrepreneurs and flow as the Women's Chamber has tried to play a role in enabling our women in, uh, in taking this forward. We would like to thank Malu Natarajan, our chairperson flow of Mumbai chapter, and the head of this initiative for putting this together so meticulously. And today we would like to felicitate the best of the startups selected by a jury and some been nominated by flow. Our endeavor is to take this step forward. And so, and acknowledge the role models that such women startups have played for us. So please join me in congratulating and applauding the adventurous, the innovative, and the disruptive startups of our nation today. Our awardees, you are all the inspirational forces behind this multiplier effect, which we are positive will percolate from this. And uh, I would like to leave you with a quote of uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg has spoken about that uh, women belong in all places where decisions are being made. We do think therefore women's role should be the rule and no longer the exception. Thank you. Namaste. Thank you, Janbi. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to introduce as our chief guest tonight someone who's changed the way India is viewed around the world. He has been a key driver of initiatives such as Make in India, Startup India, and the incredible India campaign that no one can forget. Currently the CEO of Neeti Ayo, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Amitabh Kant. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is a matter of immense pride for me to join you for the Game Changers Women Startup Awards 2021 by Fiki Ladies Organization Flow. I am delighted to note that this innovative initiative in the form of a Pan India Award is open to all women startups. Through this award, the organizers have provided women entrepreneurs with access to recruited VCs and investors and in doing so, helping them in securing and funding needed for their innovative startup ideas. I congratulate the winners for this achievement. I am given to understand that these entrepreneurs work in areas including fintech, food, healthcare, social sectors, education and tourism besides others. I believe that these are all very important and upcoming areas for India and we have the real potential to lead in these areas. In these areas, we should strive to not just bring in innovative solutions to the challenges faced in India, but also the world. And in doing so, provide a roadmap for billions of people who will emerge out of poverty across the world in the next few years. I look forward to seeing your unique startups to carve out a niche for themselves. I congratulate Fiki Flo to have created this platform to recognize women entrepreneurs by creating the Flo Game Changer Award 2021 Startup Awards. What I truly appreciate about this platform is that it's creating the opportunity for the applicants to pitch their ideas for funding to investors. I've witnessed many of Flow programs and initiatives before and for this one, let me congratulate Janabi Phukan, uh, National President Flow and Malu Natrajan, Chairperson and Lead for the Game Changer Awards for creating this unique platform. Women-owned businesses and enterprises are playing a very prominent role in society. I firmly believe that the next big disruption in the Indian startup ecosystem will be driven by women-led entrepreneurs with digital platform being the biggest enabler. It is with this idea that we at Neeti Aayog initiated the Women Entrepreneurship Platform, which supports women entrepreneurs across the country. The platform focuses on breeding new ideas, identifying gaps, and providing technological prowess to develop innovative solutions. I'm very glad to know that Fiki Flow has also tied up with Atal Innovation Mission at PPIO to promote entrepreneurship among women. Such partnerships are vital to our success. We have seen that the share of women entrepreneurs in the Indian startup ecosystem is rising and expanding. It is not just limited to new age startups. So many women in rural areas have organized self-help groups, taken loans and started their businesses. Whether it's Indra Nui or Kiran Mazundar Shah, 
और उपासना ठाकुर एंड फाल्गुनी नायर फाउंडर ऑफ न्यू एज स्टार्टअप सच इज मोबीक्विक एंड नायका और द न्यूमरस लेट्स एस एच जीज एंड वेमेन को ऑपरेटिव इंडिया इज होम टू अ डाइवर्स सेट ऑफ वेमेन एंटरप्रनोर्स विद द एवर इंक्रीजिंग फाइनेंशियल इंक्लूजन ह्यूज ग्रोथ ऑफ ई कॉमर्स एंड पॉपुलरिटी ऑफ सोशल मीडिया टूडे इज वेमेन एंटरप्रनोर्स आर मेकिंग यूज ऑफ द मैसेव अपॉर्चुनिटीज दैट आर डिजिटली कनेक्टेड सोसाइटी एज टू ऑफर Women are the backbone of any economy. It is estimated that India can add up to 770 billion dollars, more than 18% to our GDP by 2025 by giving more equal opportunities to women. According to a recent report by Bain and Company, accelerating quality and quantity of entrepreneurship can create over 30 million women-owned enterprises, of which 40% can be more than just self-employment. This in turn can generate around 150 to 170 million jobs which is more than 25% of the new jobs required for the entire working age population from 2020 till 2030. To promote more and more women to take up entrepreneurship we need to tackle so many challenges whether it's gender bias or ensuring financial support to women entrepreneurs or diversity in workplace we need to ensure that women are encouraged to take risk and start their entrepreneurial journey. It is very important that we encourage girls to persist in STEM education. Niti Aayog's innovation mission aim and Dell recently launched the She Codes Innovation Challenge to encourage girls to create, tinker, sustain and innovate. Women led success stories are going to be instrumental in driving the socio-economic growth of our country. Women are venturing across sectors from conventional sectors like food processing, agro products, handicrafts and textiles to information technology pharmaceuticals among others as part of this award ceremony i am happy to release the white paper on women entrepreneurship in india written by flo mumbai along with sp jain institute of management and research we will closely evaluate the recommendations that have been made the research such as this undertaken by forums such as flo help us in working on the policies that would benefit the society at large The research which has been undertaken explores the reasons for a low female entrepreneurship rate in the country and also proposes solutions to overcome the same. I believe that this is a very important body of research. Such research would be of great benefit to the government and would enable necessary policy and structural interventions to be introduced. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that the idea behind such awards is indeed unique and innovative. it is not only recognizing the winners and encouraging many more female entrepreneurs to move forward with their ideas but it also provides a financial impetus to those entrepreneurs by connecting them with investors and vcs promoting women entrepreneurs is very important it leads to greater innovation inclusivity diversity it provides impetus to economic growth and aids in the creation of jobs i would once again like to congratulate the winners Niti Aayog stands with you and we are there to fully support you in all your endeavors. I look forward to hearing about many more success stories in the times to come. Thank you very much. Thank you for joining us tonight Mr. Khan. Now to announce the first of the game changers at the Fiki Flow Women Startup Awards 2021. Sponsored by our friends at Google, the first of these are the Jury Selection Awards. The second runner up in this category of the game changers at the Fiki Flow Women Startup Awards 2021 is Sonam Sodha. Sonam is the co-founder of Himalayan Hemp. With the goal of making the world a better place, Himalayan Hemp is a sustainable business that, that protects and promotes the indigenous Himalayan hemp strain. It's an eco-socio-capitalistic model where they work closely with the indigenous Himalayan communities. proving once again that good business can also do good congratulations sonam let's hear it from you namaste my name is sonam sota md himalayan hemp industries private limited and i heartily accept the fiki flow women startup award as a second runner up the game changers 
it is a privilege to be selected by a renowned jury and i thank flo and fiki for providing me this opportunity and i pray that uh, this initiative keep encouraging more women entrepreneurs in the future thank you the first runner up in the jury selection category is swati pande swati is the co-founder and ceo of arboreal bio innovations arboreal is a plant biotechnology and bio nutritional food products company they help food and beverage brands to launch top notch low calorie and zero calorie stevia based products congratulations swati over to you thank you fiki flow for this award um it feels great to have our first recognized and especially coming from fiki it means even more um we at arboreal and magic leaf have come a long way in the last 6 years and uh, the journey has just begun but this remains a very important milestone in our journey so thank you so much again ladies and gentlemen i'm delighted to announce the winner of the jury awards for game changers 2021 kanika kishore divani kanika is the founder and ceo of mintry and has built a brand that is inspired from the goodness of nature and its immense healing powers Mintry's products are formulated with exotic extracts using sustainable practices. Congratulations Kanika, take it away. Thank you Vicky Flo for giving me this opportunity. So I've consciously started being a little less hard on myself. I definitely celebrate my victories, but I even more celebrate my failures. So ladies, let's just come together. pull each other up fix each other's crown and really take this opportunity to grow together i'd like to thank my parents for everything i am today my spiritual mentors god gopal das prabhu ji and anand gopal prabhu ji my eo forum and the new gentlemen's luck in my life now thank you fiki flow for this award and for all of us who follow social media and the latest memes on the lighter note ye mai hu ye mera fiki flow ka award hai many startups actually led to two or three different major achievements within the country whether it was developing ppes masks uh, ventilator or other actual systems to combat the covid uh, system was extremely beneficial second many of the startups actually came in with new uh, ideas and new systems and new processes uh, to enable contactless payment and contactless delivery in this uh, context it could not have been a more opportune time to conceptualize and present the game changer awards to recognize and celebrate exceptional women entrepreneurs whose innovative approach and disruptive ideas have created a positive change in the business and social ecosystem in india the last year has been extraordinarily challenging for businesses especially small and medium enterprises and the adverse impact on covid-19 pandemic on women has been disproportionately high especially in terms of migrant workers workers and even entrepreneurs as has been pointed out uh, by uh, the priya university study by game and league in this scenario the game changer awards will be an inspiration to women in businesses and will be crucial to boost the roadmap for progress of women entrepreneurship and bring back the economy on track once again i must congratulate the president flo ms janvi kukan and the national head game changer awards ms malu natrajan for creating this series of awards it will not just celebrate these women but also encourage other women entrepreneurs and everybody else to support startups Thank you Mr. Chanoy. You've been a great supporter of Flow and we appreciate your time today. 
For our next speaker, we'll swing the camera to the southeast of Asia to hear from a global expert on the world of startups. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to your screens the Chief Fintech Officer of Monetary Authority of Singapore, Mr. Sopnendu Mohanty. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for inviting me, inviting me to speak uh, at this forum. I'm really looking forward to the outcome of the Women's Startup Award 2021, the Game Changers hosted by Fiki FLO. FLO has become truly an impactful platform with more than 8,000 members in the network. Uh, I really want to congratulate uh, FLO Mumbai chapter for hosting the Game Changer event, uh, which is a great platform uh, to recognize entrepreneurship leadership in the space. One of the critical uh, segment uh, which will make a substantial impact, impact on FinTech's profitability is the women's market in financial services. Today, it represents the world's largest and fastest growing market, yet they remain uh, largely overlooked and underserved by the financial industry, especially also among uh, fintechs. Uh, by some stats, uh, when, which I was looking at, almost $1.7 trillion worth of unmet credit needs, which is, which is the women entrepreneurs are looking for, uh, and, and, and that's a huge market to be, uh, to be served. Women are also known to be strong savers and reliable customers. At this market, still not getting the attention it should get. Uh, only 65% of women are being served by the financial sector, much less than the men who, uh, by some statistics, are now close to 70%. So an exciting market to, to deal with. And I hope a lot of female founders uh, uh, in this uh, forum who are watching this uh, uh, this discussion should start thinking about how to focus on this market and take advantage of the uh, of the unmet needs in the sector. So, uh, so, so, so from a policy standpoint, also we got to see how we can create more disaggregated data for better decision making, which 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 allows us to move away from a very current uh, myopic thinking about the women market. But let me summarize summarize by saying that focusing on women market is not charity. It is an opportunity and it is a real opportunity and a multi-million dollar opportunity. I will say multi-billion dollar opportunity and can go up to trillion dollars of revenues. So to conclude, uh, I'm quite optimistic. Uh, I hope uh, we get more female founders uh, to this space. Uh, we have investors, policymakers, national infrastructure, international collaboration, all uh, primed to see more founders to come to the space, build their businesses, grow their businesses, and truly serve the market, which requires a lot of good innovative solutions, and also have to focus on uh, solving uh, the inclusion challenges. So thanks for listening to me. I wish the, uh, the program a great success, and I'm going to watch uh, the results coming out of this event, and hopefully we can find a way to collaborate with the winners. Uh, thank you very much once again. Have a great evening. Thank you, Mr. Mohanty. We really appreciate your insights and thank you for joining us all the way from Singapore. Our next speaker has been recognized by Fortune India among the country's top 50 most powerful women and by Fast Company as one of the most creative people in business. She is now an investment partner at SoftBank but is still recognized as Facebook's first employee in India who went on to serve as their MD in India and South Asia. Joining us all the way from California, you know I'm talking about the inimitable Kirtiga Reddy. When businesses succeed, livelihoods flourish. I saw this in my role building Facebook India. I see this in my current role as I work with bold founders who are using AI and data to reinvent existing industries, create new ones, and change the way we live and work. I see this in the ideas of all of the applicants and the award winners of Flow Game Changer Awards. My advice to you, think big, think bold, have a sharp focus on your 10x differentiation, hire the right people, build the right culture, surround yourself with community that believes in you almost more than you believe in yourself. Congratulations to Flow on this groundbreaking initiative 
Congratulations to all of the applicants and the award winners. Thank you, Kirtiga. It's always such a pleasure to connect with you. It's time now for the 10 nominated awards for Fiki Flow Game Changers 2021. The award for the startup of the decade goes to Elizabeth Chapman, CEO and co-founder of Zest Money. Zest Money is India's largest and fastest growing consumer lending fintech company. Congratulations, Lizzie. We are truly honored to be recognized by Fiki Flow as startup of the decade. I am so grateful to be accepting this recognition on behalf of myself, my co-founders Priya and Ashish, and the entire team at Zest Money. We started Zest Money five years ago to help drive financial inclusion in this country for millions of people by offering affordable, responsible, and fair forms of financing. We're so pleased today to have all our hard work recognized and this will motivate us to continue on our journey to changing the world. Thank you, Vicky Flo. Our next award is for the Young Startup of the Year and this one goes to Akanksha Chaturvedi, founder and CEO of Eduwara. Eduwara seeks to democratize education by using technology making quality education reach every corner of India at an affordable price. Thank you so much to Fiki Flo for giving me uh, the startup of the award, for giving it to Eduora. It's an absolute pleasure and a privilege uh, to be in this position. And I'm glad that, you know, we can be in a position uh, of role models that uh, motivate other young women to shatter glass ceilings and uh, achieve greater and better things in life. Like our next speaker, who has been named on the Financial Times Top 50 Women in Business list. In 2019, she was on the Forbes list of the most powerful women in the world. Last year, she was named EY World Entrepreneur of the Year. Unafraid to speak her mind and just as fearless in business or in life. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm honored to present to you the Chairperson and Managing Director of Biocon, Ms. Kiran Mazumdar Shaw. Hi, I'm Kiran Mazumdar Shaw, and I would like to congratulate Flo Mumbai for uh, having this wonderful event called the Game Changers uh, India Women uh, Startup Awards, which I think is extremely important at a time like this. Today, India is trying to create one of the most vibrant startup economies in the world. And women have to be part of this. Um, as an entrepreneur, I know that every company, every entrepreneurial journey starts with an idea. And it's taking that idea to the market that is an exciting journey. And I would urge every woman who aspires to start on this journey to have the confidence to take that first step. So I would like to urge every aspiring woman entrepreneur to be bold about taking an idea to the market, to be enduring about working on taking that idea to the market. And of course, it's all about determination and endurance and therefore, I would like to end by saying congratulations to all the winners. Your journey has just begun because the next stage of your journey is to take that startup to a much bigger scale. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. You're an icon and an inspiration for entrepreneurs everywhere. As you saw earlier this evening, Flow Mumbai, in collaboration with SPJ and Institute of Management and Research, has released a white paper on women entrepreneurship in India. It is only fitting that Flo, Southeast Asia's oldest business chamber for women, is actively involved in women-centric policy making and advocacy. Let's hear it from the team. Back to you, Malu, along with Dr. Renuga Kamat and Professor Ratika Gore of SPGIMR Mumbai. Fiki Flo Mumbai chapter in collaboration with SPJ Institute of Management Mumbai 
has carried out an in-depth research on women entrepreneurship in India. It is an honor to have Mr. Kant release the paper for us today. The main objective of this research is to recommend changes to the government from a policy perspective. Partnerships such as this that we have with Fiki Flow Mumbai and an outcome of which is the white paper which is going to be long is something that we are always proud of. So how did we go about it? We did in-depth interviews with women entrepreneurs, content analysis and confirmed our findings with a survey done Pan India. In our research, we realized that women entrepreneurs face invisible challenges that stem from hierarchies that exist in society even today. Based on our research, our report suggests recommendations for uh, policymakers, industry bodies, and academia. And now, back to the awards. The Game Changer 2021 for the retail sector goes to Naina Pare, co founder of Yume. Congratulations, Naina. Hello, everyone. A big applause to the Fiki Flow team for coming up with the Game Changers Startup Women's Award. And thank you for bestowing the honor of the Retail Sector Award to me. Thank you once again. The award for the fashion sector goes to Meghna Saraogi, co founder and CEO of Style.me. Congratulations, Meghna. I am Meghna Saraugi, I'm the founder and CEO of Style.me. It's an honor to accept the Game Changers Award for the fashion sector by Flo. Flo has been very instrumental in celebrating innovation and empowering women leaders. I feel privileged to accept this award. Thank you so much. The next speaker this evening is a passionate crusader for reaching quality healthcare to every corner of India and the underserved regions of the world the immediate past president of the Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and joint managing director of Apollo Hospitals. Please join me in welcoming to the event this evening, Ms. Sangeeta Reddy. Namaste. I'm extremely happy to be with all of you today at this very special initiative being organized by Flo just a week after International Women's Day. All of us know that it's extremely important to achieve equity to achieve a greater participation of women uh, in every sphere of life, but all, especially the economic sphere of life. So I congratulate you. I wish all the young startups the very best. Please uh, look at the future, build a clean, inclusive future, think diversity, uh, think a better world, and don't worry about trying to change the intrinsic nature of being you know, a woman and try to adopt many of these, uh, the male archetypes, because actually if you, you hear this fantastic lecture by Deepak Chopra uh, that he gave us, in the knowledge economy, in the changing world, it is this female archetype of being able to use knowledge and team and have the insight into understanding what the customer wants and the multitasking and the ability to, to literally wing it. Uh, is what the future of business is all about. So good luck, congratulations. I'm extremely happy to see this initiative and request all of you to, you know, don't just celebrate these powerful moments, but make this a movement for women empowerment. All the best to all of you. Thank you. Thank you, Sangeeta. We haven't forgotten about the quiz we promised you at the beginning of the show. So here are the rules. I will be asking you a question and give you four options for the answer. All you need to do is give us the correct answer by typing it into the Q&A section at the bottom of the screen. The overall winners will get some amazing prizes from Flo. She was the first Indian track athlete to win an under-20 World Athletics gold medal. Option A, Lalita Babar. Option B, Navji Dhillon. Option C, Hima Das, and Option D, P.T. Usha. This young flying officer became the first Indian woman fighter pilot to fly solo. She became an inspiration to many young women by flying the MiG-21 Bison. 
Our next award is for the food sector, sponsored by Kanti Sweets. And the winner is Shriya Khanna, founder and CEO of My Khanna. Congratulations, Shriya. Team My Khanna is very grateful to accept the Game Changer Award under food category at Fiki Flow Women's Startup Awards 2021. Our endeavor is to become an inclusive platform for users to benefit from healthy, hygienic, homemade food products and enable home chefs from a cross section of the society earn a livelihood by leveraging on technology platform. My Khana draws great amount of encouragement from this recognition. A big thank you to the entire team at Picky Flow for considering us worthy of this prestigious award. Our next speaker this evening runs one of the top 10 film schools of the world. She has changed the way the mainstream Indian film industry works by producing trained talent to take over the next generation of filmmaking. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to your screens the president of Whistling Woods International, Meghna Ghai. Many many congratulations to the team of Fiki Flow Mumbai on launching the Game Changers Women Startup Awards. My mentor and educator philosopher Dr. Daisa Koikeda says women play such an important role in fostering life protecting their families supporting society and illuminating the world I feel it is so important to encourage all startups and especially in an unprecedented time like this it has become even more important congratulations to each and every nominee and winner and I wish you all the success in all your endeavors thank you Thank you Meghna. Name the entrepreneur who founded Biocon. Option A Varghese Kurian, option B Azim Premji, option C Lakshmi Mittal and option D Kiran Mazumdar Show. Who among the following is a co-founder of the online education app Byju's? Option A Divya Gokulnath, option B Falguni Nair, option C Isha Choudhury. and option D Aditi Gupta Our next award is for the healthcare sector and this award goes to Neha Motwani founder and CEO of Fraternity Congratulations Neha Hi I'm Neha Motwani absolutely thrilled to get the game changers award in the healthcare sector Fiki Flow have always admired your work and getting this award from you is an absolute privilege. Thank you so much. The Game Changer 2021 award for the social sector is sponsored by JWIL and the winner is Anu Prasad, founder and CEO of ILSS. This is Anu Prasad. I'm delighted to be the recipient of this uh, award for entrepreneurship in the social sector. I think Fiki Flow is doing a phenomenal job working with women entrepreneurs across the country. Uh, thank you so and across Asia as well. Thank you so much. We're deeply honored. Me and my team at ILS is deeply honored to accept this award. Hi, I'm Anita Dongre, and my heartiest congratulations to all of you who are here today, building your dreams, and to Flow Mumbai for hosting these awards and celebrating us all women. When I started out 30 years ago, there were very few women in the workforce, and even fewer who were entrepreneurs. I faced more rejections than I can count, from mall owners refusing to give me store space to times when people didn't take me seriously only because I was a woman. but i was determined to fulfill my dreams and it was the power of these rejections that pushed me even harder we all know when a woman is economically empowered it not only changes her life but positively impacts her family and thereby society like today's event rightly quotes women are the game changers this country needs who is the founder of nika option a falguni nair Option B Rashmi Sinha, option C Aditi Avasti, option D Sabina Chopra. She became the world's youngest serving state leader and the youngest prime minister in the country's history. Option A Anneli 
यतीन मकी ऑप्शन बी सन्ना मरीन ऑप्शन सी मारी की विनियमी ऑप्शन डी किम कैंपबेल अ नेक्स्ट अवार्ड दिस इवनिंग इज फॉर द एजुकेशन सेक्टर एंड दिस अवार्ड गोज टू तनुश्री नगोरी को फाउंडर ऑफ डाउट नाट कंग्रेचुलेशन तनुश्री Tanushree, uh, co-founder Doubtnut. Doubtnut is the most used education app of the country. I am extremely honored to receive this award from Fiki Flow. Fiki is an organization that we have admired and aspired to be a part of since our childhood. With Flow, it has really made a big impact in the industry for women, and we at Doubtnut hope to make a meaningful contribution and a meaningful part of Fiki Flow. I uh, look forward to working with Fiki Flow in the future. The next Game Changer Award for the fintech sector is sponsored by Wells Fargo, and this award goes to Smriti Tomar, founder and CEO of Stack Finance. Congratulations, Smriti. Hello, everyone. I'm Smriti from Stack Finance. Thank you so much for this wonderful honor. It feels great to be awarded under this title of Game Changer Women Startup Awards. and more so alongside such amazing co-female entrepreneurs it's hard enough to be an entrepreneur and i personally believe it's harder being a female one so i'm glad that fiki has taken this initiative to recognize and acknowledge the efforts of women entrepreneurs congratulations everyone and thank you so much fiki flow team i'm kiran gera past national president of flow and the founding chairperson of flow mumbai chapter the game changer awards are a salute to the spirit of entrepreneurship of the young women of our country may you continue to disrupt to adapt to evolve and to succeed from strength to strength my heartiest congratulations to you on winning these awards and congratulations to flow mumbai chapter for having discovered these gems and honoring them our next inspirational speaker this evening is ms harjinder kaur also the immediate past president of flow let's hear it from her namaskar my name is harjinder kaur tarwar and i am talking to all the girls in the country who want to set up a very successful startup today let me tell you about my story and i say this story with all the humility no arrogance but i am proud of the fact that i am the only business woman in the country in the specific arena of intelligent traffic and transport i would be very proud to say that we are the only company in india who is doing this i want to definitely tell you girls that in case you aim high sky is the limit for you you can reach out to the stars be focused remain calm and be very clear about what you achieve thank you so much all the best to all the girls here namaskar thank you miss kaur who became the first woman to climb the seven summits the highest peak on each continent option a junko tabe option b Arunima Sinha, option C, Malavat Purna, option D, Wanda Rutkevich. Which country was the first to pass a law mandating all listed companies to have at least forty women on their boards? I will now invite uh, Ms. Jayanti Dalmia, Vice President of Flow, to deliver the vote of thanks. Namaskar. This is first of the many game changers that Fikki Flow will witness in the years to come. Congratulations to our president Janvi Fukan and Malu Natarajan for leading the way and executing it with finesse. Thanks to our sponsors: Google, Citibank, Wells Fargo, SBI, JWIL, and Kanti Sweets. Our partners: AIM Niti Aayog, 
India Network, IIM Bangalore, Millennium Divas, Rise Barclays for always supporting us. Thanks to Mr. Amitabh Kant and Mr. Sopnendu Mohanty for addressing the gathering and giving us the vision to take it forward. Thanks to the jury members and all the investors who patiently listened to the top 20 entries and helped us pick up the top three winners. Big congratulations to all the winners. Finally, thanks to the Game Changer Core team, IT team at Fiki, Rashmi and her team for being there every step of the way despite the hectic schedule. Thanks to Reshma Ghoshal for always being there for us and for the fabulous role of the MC for the event. Thank you all. Namaskar. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we come to the end of this incredible awards evening. We had a lot of fun organizing this for you and we hope to see you again here next year. Have a good evening. Thank you.